Hi, I'm Solomon, the Arkansas Diamond Miner. Uh, today, what I'm going to do is walk around and uh, kind of show you guys what's where out there on the search area. Um, so if you come out here and you say, want to look for a specific area or something like that, uh, what I'm going to do is just kind of walk out there and I'll show you uh, as you enter into the search area, the you know what is which direction, and we'll kind of walk around and look at some of the landmarks down there. All right. So I am uh, at the entrance to the search field. You can see the Diamond Discovery Center behind me. And we're going to go ahead and walk around out here and I can kind of show you around a little bit, uh, show you uh, more of the well-known places out here on the search field. So if you want to come out and look around a little bit, you'll kind of have your bearings starting off. So we'll go take a little walk. Okay, so as you're entering the search field, you'll come by this boot wash station and you can wash your equipment off. They've got several hoses here. Uh, on ball valves that you can turn on make sure you got a hold of it those things get kind of crazy if you turn it on and you ain't got a ain't got a hold of it because they spray pretty hard so we're going to start off going up to the north you can kind of see the old mine shaft building back up there so that's where we'll start off um, there are two wash pavilions you can see one right out there that is the north wash pavilion then you have another one down there in the distance that is the South Wash Pavilion. And you'll see some of the shovel markers out here where some of the more notable diamonds have been found. So we're going to head up here to the north end of the search field. And I can show you a little bit around up there. Alright, so one of the things that you'll pass by if you walk along the trail that's on the east side of the park, head to the mine shaft building, is some of this old mining equipment. Uh, my understanding is that a lot of this was left behind by the early mining operations. This is some of the stuff they used to use to recover diamonds, and I don't think they were very successful at it with this type of equipment. I'm told that the diamonds were all pretty small, and this just wasn't suited for that. So, so you can still see the mine shaft building off in the distance there. And as I walk down the trail here, you can kind of see, you can see the Kimberlite Cafe back there. All right, so there is one of the shovel markers from one of the notable finds out here. And it is right in front of that mine shaft building. Some of my earlier videos that uh, you might have seen, you've seen me set up and wash material from behind this mine shaft building right there in that little stream bed. And they do have a little sluice box over here with a hand pump on it. I think the hand pump was actually broken for a little while. <clears throat> and looks like somebody's already broken the pipe off of it. I came and looked at that this morning because when this is broken, we don't have access to water on this end of the, the search field. Got a nice little shade pavilion sitting over there. So a lot of times people will tell you that there is not much diamond on this end of the search field. Um, I know that there is kind of a distinct boundary. You can actually see the difference in the color of dirt right there. That's kind of a greenish blue. So that is more diamond bearing. If you actually go up on that little hill right there, there is, uh, I think that it's the magmatic lamprite. It's a really hard black rock. Um, and I think that's kind of the boundary is right along in there just this side of that mine shaft building of where the diamond bearing material kind of drops off. But you can see this little sluice box right here. It has a little pipe right there that was attached to it this morning so that you could actually fill that sluice box. If you run it like that, it just runs out on the ground. Misses the box altogether, but there's a couple pieces of pipe laying around over here. So, this is the north end of the search field. We'll kind of take a hike over here. Look at uh, some of the other parts of the mine search area. 
Okay, so there's the old mine shaft building. I've kind of walked back from from that a little bit to the south. So right now I'm looking back to the north. So as I kind of move on to the west here, you see there is uh, a sign right there is kind of the trailhead for the prospector trail. And that is on the uphill side of what they call Beatty's Hill. Or some people call it Beatty's Hill. Let's see, there's a sign right there. So this area is kind of the northernmost part of the lampritic, lamp, diamond bearing lamprite. So uh, from the North Wash Station, there's that North Wash Station right there. So it's just uphill from that. So. <clears throat> This road right here that goes right through there that was the old property line that was the boundary for some of the old mining operations that was the property line okay so I'm basically standing on top of Beatty's Hill you can see the Diamond Discovery Center back there. There's the boot wash to the right of that, and there's the old boat arc tree. So as I pan around, looking south, you can see the two wash pavilions right there. And off to my right is going to be the west drain. Well, we can't see it from here. All right, so now I'm uh, past that north wash pavilion. I'm over in what's the very top end of what's known as the north drain, or excuse me, the west drain. So uh, there's a little bit of material up that direction. I don't think that's very productive. That kind of gets out of the out of the lamp right and stuff like that. But uh, as you move down this way, we can get over to the side of the search field and kind of see that there is a stream bed. And a lot of the old timers would tell you that they have actually kind of relocated this stream bed a couple of times. So it kind of starts right here. <clears throat> then you have some other little wash areas that come through right here. And this is kind of the beginning of what they call the West Drain now. You can tell it's pretty grown up back in here. They've not plowed this area. So when you hear people talk about the West Drain area, here we are. So there is another shade pavilion. This is the Canary Hill shade pavilion over here. So there is the North Wash Station, and way back in the back you can see the Diamond Discovery Center. There's another shovel marker with a bench over there under that shade tree. And the South Wash Pavilion, from where I'm at, is right there. Still got a few people in there working. So we'll go take a look at Canary Hill real quick. All right, I'm standing here at the Shade Pavilion at the uh, Canary Hill sign. So I think the reason this was named Canary Hill because it seemed like there was a lot of uh, pretty yellow canary-colored diamonds that came from this area. So to kind of get your bearings, that's South Wash Pavilion. You can see the North Wash Pavilion. The Diamond Discovery Center is back over there. There's the entrance building way up the top of the hill over there. And from here, if you look further on to the south, see if I can zoom in on it, that is the old pig pen area down there. It's basically a small sluice box like what they have at the north end of the field. So from here, we'll head back to the east, and I'll show you the east drain. Okay, there is the north wash pavilion. And there is the South Wash Pavilion. So there's another shade pavilion right there. 
And as I'm looking back toward the Diamond Discovery Center and the Visitor Center, um, this is the area known as the East Drain. This is the east end of the search field. You'll notice that it's quite a bit lower than everything else, so it's actually eroded down quite a bit. It's a little bit breezy out here. I hope you can hear me, but we'll walk over there and get a little better look at it. It's kind of hard to walk on these furrows and hold a camera still. Okay, so there's the big culvert that goes under the road coming out of the visitor center. This whole little creek bed right here. This is East Drain. It goes back in their ways. You can see some of the small yellow signs off in the distance on the edge of the woods. Those are the boundary signs that tell you where the search boundaries are can't go past those to look. So that's the south end of the field. This is the west end of the field. That is north direction. Mine, you can barely see the tip of the mine shaft building up there. Right up there. So it's a little ways up. This is 37 and a half acres I believe of search area that's open to the public for diamond searching. So with that, I think we'll call it a day. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed your tour of the diamond search field. Uh, I think I've pretty well covered every area of the park. Um, if you would, like and subscribe and hit the notification icon so that you know when I put another video out. If you have any ideas for videos, please put them in the comments. I'm also going to put a link in the comments to another YouTube channel. Uh, it's actually a local man here. He's, uh, he comes to the park quite a bit. Um, the name of his channel is Genuine Diamonds in Arkansas. And uh, like I said, the link will be down in the comments below. And if you have any ideas for uh, videos or anything like that, please leave me some in the comments. Thank you.